so in the second part uh, till now we have understand what is the how the what is the nature of the nature of your developed model the model should maybe the algebraic equation maybe the ode maybe the pd and pd kab hoga maine aapko bataya the model is distributed the model is distributed distributed means you know the temperature is varying let's say i have already told the difference between the distributed and the uh lumped parametric model if you know if the, if x is equals to 0 and x is equals to l eh, and uh, you want to double you want to find out the uh model so you know the, the this is the partially partially differentiated because this is the different depends on the x depends on the t also the time and space also so this is one dimensional you can say one dimensional heat flow one dimensional heat flow right one dimensional heat flow is example of the distributed parametric model and also the second second two dimension uh, heat flow is also the example of so this becomes more complex than this simple right so <clears throat> okay the next is the i hope it is will be clear the lumped parametric model distributed parametric model, right next is the white box model so white box model is a first principle based model and i already told this is the theoretical model theoretical first principle means conservation conservation of based on the conservation right mass mass uh, transfer heat transfer in energy transfer like that black box means you don't know anything you don't know you you have drive the model with the help of the data data drive data driven model is generally known as the black model black box model right in the case of the gray box model some parameters you know some parameters you don't know right so you have to identify so identification of model parameters are the most important necessary step in order to understand the model right so <coughs> if you if you able to identify the model or parameters okay then you can design the model structure or na you can collect the plant data right a specific experiment or the normal cooperation right all these things next example is the difference between the servo and regulator regulator problem servo parol problem or regulator problem then we will go to the mathematical formulation of something so you can see here in the case of the it is a block diagram of any of the you know process any of the process we already have seen we also have discussed something about some knowledge of about the you know uh, feedback and feed forward yes or no we have seen feedback and feed forward one of the student also highlighted what is the feed forward uh, control i think two or three days back right so if the load if we, if you are able to control this load before disturbing right before disturbing let's let's say there is a control so this control is nothing but you know this is the you can say this is the forward for free forward control right so regulator and servo may kya difference hai isko samajhne ke liye aapko ye padhna padega samajhna padega ki at the time what is the regulator problem the goal of the control system for this type of the problem is to enable system to compensate for load changes load changes means this will is going to change okay load compensate for the load change and maintain the controlled variable at set point right set point aapka fix rahega ye aapka change hoga the variable is here load the comparator set point is changed the set point is fixed in the case of servo problem the goal of the control system is to track yani track the requested set point change so set point is going to change in this however the load is fixed load is constant load is not going to change okay so this is the servo problem load is fixed in the case of the servo problem however in the case of the regulator the load is going to be varying and the set point is changed. set point is fixed is it clear is it clear any doubt hello my voice is audible yes sir voice is audible so 
समझ में आया जो बोल रहा हूँ मैं yes, ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज द सिस्टम ट्रांसफर फंक्शन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस थिंग सिस्टम ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज एन एथ ऑर्डर ऑफ द यू नो एनी ऑफ द सिस्टम एनी ऑफ द मॉडल इज ऑफ द मैक्सिमम रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज यू कैन से इन द इन द ओडी टर्म जस्ट फॉर द लम्ब्ड पैरामेट्रिक मॉडल यू कैन से ऑफ द ऑर्डर एन राइट दिस इज द इनपुट दिस इज द दिस इज द आउटपुट साइड दिस इज द इनपुट साइड and you know the homogeneous homogeneous differential equation what is the <coughs> what is the homogeneous differential equation where homogeneous differential equation means where we can separate the the forcing function is zero yes or no the forcing function this for side of the function is zero yes or no okay or, or in this case we generally we take the but maine aapko pehle bataya b not ut lete hain और आउटपुट में मैक्सिमम थर्ड ऑर्डर फोर्थ ऑर्डर फिफ्थ ऑर्डर तक जाए राइट और ओवरऑल इसका जो ट्रांसफर फंक्शन यू कैन फाइंड आउट देन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द मॉडर्न कंट्रो सिस्टम राइट सो व्हेन यू फाइंड आउट द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एम एस अपॉन एन एस एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यू नो नोमिनेटर एंड नोमिनेटर द पोल एस प्लस पी माइनस पी वन एस प्लस पी टू यो नो I already discussed these things. Sorry, Z1, Z2, right? P1, S plus minus P2, and so on. So this is the Z zeros, and this is the poles. Okay, its value write in this in the factor form. Right. So what is the transfer function? You can say that the ratio of the transform output to the input, right? Huh? so also the initial values should be the zero you have to assume the v zero if you are not assuming it means the transfer function is not the linear right the transfer function defined only for the lti system already told and right? it is not defined for the non linear system right the roots of this ns numerators are called as the poles and right? the root of ns is the poles and the ms is called the zeros right okay this is the ms and this is the ns ओके सो एन एस को पोल एंड एम एस द रूट इज कॉल दीरो राइट बाई सेटिंग द डिनोमिनेटर फंक्शन टू जीरो इट इज कॉल द क्रैटिस्टिक क्वेश्चन दिस इज द क्रैटिस्टिक क्वेश्चन राइट एनी डाउट एनी डाउट अपू दिस पॉइंट प्लीज लेट मी नो एनी डाउट ओके so transfer function let's say we have to find of the uh, op amp okay so this is the r this is the rc rc network can you anyone tell me what is the transfer function of this first of all tell me so that i can understand far better than before going into the detail of this one let's say this is the vi and this is the v not r1 and r2 so how the transfer function we going to find of the op amp anyone know What is the fundamental of the op amp? Minus R two by R one into V. Minus R two by R one. Very good. Minus R two by R one only. Yeah, and most of the students knows, eh? Right? Okay, mm -hmm. good. So the fundamental is very clear. If you don't know, then you can just see it. It's very easy. It's very easy. It's very easy. So <coughs> the concept is. virtual ground right virtual ground virtual sort you can say virtual sort so you know the in the input resistance of the operational amplifier ideal condition is very very high that is infinite input resistance is very high yes or no input resistance is very high yes sir and therefore yes, sir. whatever the current is going from this side this side so due to the very very high resistance the current is going in this direction not in this this direction kyunki ya pooch karega simple sa baat hai so total current i right so whatever the current is going from this side going to this side right and whatever the voltage due to the high resistance the whatever the voltage is here the voltage is zero so this voltage is reflected to here also right so this voltage is zero virtual sort so this concept is you have to remember uh, otherwise 
if you know this concept then you can solve the any problem of the basic op amp right inverting amplifier right so on the basis of this you can find out you can just write the kcl right? so vi minus 0 upon r1 in this branch okay this is i and for this branch you can write 0 minus v0 upon r2 okay so you can write out v0 v as equals to minus r2 by r1 into vi am i right yes or no so if there is a let's say if there is a capacitance is attached here so 1 upon cs is you can write here right? and based on that 1 upon cs just write down the you know the kcl right? you can find out the v0 upon vi s yes? that is a minus r2 cs upon 1 plus uh, 1 upon r plus cs is it clear yes or no yes or no yes sir yes sir yes sir so the same concept is used here All right now come to the next that the mechanical system in the mechanical system the most uh, famous example most popular example is the mass damper right mass damper spring and you know how the mass damper spring is modeled right so <coughs> let's say some force is applied here based on that this mass is going to be stressed out uh, and upside upper side the hooks constant due to the hooks constant the spring is going to be changed and the damper due to the damping coefficient it is going to be changed right okay so whatever the force is applied here based on that the, the there is a change in the all the forces so due to the mass that is the acceleration due to m due to by d, d2 x by dt square is generated b dx by dt generated k x dt generated right this is for the spring this is for the damper this is for the mass and you can simply write the force right so this ft is equals to nothing but the m d2 dx by dt square plus fb dx by dt plus kx t right right any doubt any doubt please let me know okay Okay, take the Laplace transform of the function. So, kya ho jayega? M into S square X S plus F V S into X S plus K into X S is equal to F S. Yes or no? So, same is taken here, right? So, just divided by M, na na? Just up this ko le lo kya? Take the common X S M S square V S plus K. This is F S. So you can take the output upon input. So, output is nothing but the displacement in against of the force. Right against of the force when you apply the force, and there is some displacement. Right, so this displacement upon the force is represented here in the form of the transfer function. Right, so your assignment problem, your first assignment for the PDC is to develop the model of this this problem also. Just to note out, not it, not out. Just click the screenshot. Okay, take the screenshot of this problem. You have to solve the you know the we have to develop the model of the transfer function the this function this picture right come to the next okay so most important most most important i am just here 